It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I am Chad. I'm Sarah. And if you're ever wondering, yes. What are they Oh, wondering? okay. I thought they knew because they were wondering it. No. I don't even know. If you're ever wondering, yes, sometimes we do film multiple episodes in one day. And this has been a nice little Sunday for us. Yes. Now, I'll say this. We do allow ourselves proper time in between uncorkings. Mm -hmm. So we're not impaired. Right. Like, why are you telling them all of our secrets? We trick you by changing our t-shirts. Mm -hmm. And now, we're getting ready to try the Michter's Single Barrel 10-Year. Shout out to Matt Preston from the Lex and Bourbon Society for hooking me up with this bottle. Thank you, Matt. I'm really excited to try this. Okay, it's this one of those. This is what I don't <laughs> like about wax tops. Oh, here we go. Now we got it. We got it. Yeah, but so yeah, so I'm, I'm fight for sort it. of in the same boat. I've had the US one. We have a bottle back behind us. Uh, they're regular rye, like and then we had you when that comes <laughs> um, they're more limited rye that I had, um, and it was amazing. Uh, oh, there we go. So so far, you know, Mictor's stuff is is good. Uh, they also make a, a blended whiskey. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've had, and, and some other stuff. They have a Mictor's 20, which is super rare and super expensive. Isn't that one that was like five grand? No, that was, well, it was a 20, but it was like, there was gold in it or something. Damn, there better be, it was like $5,000. Yeah, uh, and it's not there anymore, so. Somebody bought someone it. Someone bought it. Um, I'm trying to that go was to their a house. super limited. Uh, 20 year. I think it was still just a 20 year, but anyway. So Michter's, a a non-producing distiller, who I think is now also, as the trend goes, distilling their own juice. Mm -hmm. But stuff like this, it ain't ready yet. Is sourced, but when you know how to do it right with with the with the blending with the marrying, can be uh, amazing. So Michter's has got quite the history. They came about in the 1700s, not, right. not in Kentucky. Uh, they were up north a little bit. Uh, I want to say Pennsylvania. This is the part of the show where we don't check up on our research mm -hmm. first. Uh, they got <laughs> crushed during Prohibition, brought back later in Kentucky, and uh, now that's why they start sourcing things, and people seem to really love Mictors. So. 1753. 1753. And it was a rye. I remember that. That's uh, some old stuff. They were making a rye was, was their claim to fame back then. This is their 10 year. This is also a single barrel. And this was uh, about 100 bones. Better be worth it. It smells really mellow. It does kind of. Yeah. A little mellow, but there's... Like, hey, I'm just chilling. Definitely it's something there. Been. What if it's going to be super smooth? 10 years old. But you know how we can find out. Oh, drinking it? <laughs> Definitely has that barrel influence that I love. I think I'm I gonna like this. I got like a this. little bit of licorice. But oh, I just wanna taste it. Can I taste it? Let's taste it. Oh, 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 oh that's good. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you didn't see, but I just kicked my feet. <laughs> it doesn't happen often. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. Yeah, that's tasty. What to say first? Okay. Really smooth. You go. I'm gonna collect my thoughts. Hold on. Proofage is 47.2. Math. So it's 94.4. 94.4 so 94 94 proof. Oh my God, there. Math. Do it, kids. Stay in school. Under 100 proof. Super smooth. Super smooth. No burn. Mm -mm. I will say this though. Not a long finish. No, not a long finish. Not a long finish. But. I really like, I mean. But delightful. Delicious. <laughs> I think it is mellow in the taste too. Like there are flavors, but none of them are hitting you hard. Yeah, there's nothing jutting out. No, it's, it's. Balanced. Balanced, yeah. It just flows over and coats your tongue. Um, and it's not really, I wouldn't say buttery, but it's, it just seems it to makes coat in a smooth way, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It it's like silk, kind of silky. Definitely warms you. It's here. It's not here. It's no. It's yeah. It's down here. Mmm, that's so good. Yeah. I don't even know what to say about it. I feel I haven't had their rye, and I feel like their rye would be really good based on the really subtle undertones of spice. Just it just <clears throat> it's like almost like a tease. Well, each flavor is like a little tease. 
The more you drink it, it does kind of have a little bit of tongue burn. No, I don't get that at all. After, I mean, after repeated drinks, it, it does kind of dance across the tongue in a nice way. Oh, it smells good. It tastes good. It's not harsh, but it's not sweet. I don't know. It's not. It's not dry. Mm -mm. I keep saying the things that it's not. I'm having a really hard time saying the things that so it is. It's just so balanced. It's hard so to say what it is. It's just like this equal vanilla, equal caramel, equal barrel, equal sweetness. It's super balanced. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely, t when you're tasting it, tell that there are le it's very well-rounded. There's levels of flavor. I don't get licorice at all, honestly. I thought that I smelled it. Um, now when I've gone back after tasting it, I don't pick that up anymore. I hate licorice, so I'm happy about it. I was really kind of scared that I would <laughs> like it. It's definitely on another level. I mean, you put it up against other 10-year-old bourbons in a single barrel. McKenna comes to mind. It's It's got a lot more personality, but it's so much more money Ooh. than the $30 McKenna. Yeah, but that's a 10-year also, right? Yeah, 10-year and single barrel. Uh, it's bottled in bond. This is not quite But they're close. Yeah. Well, this is barrel. I give it a yes vote. 178313, which is cool. I give it a yes vote. If you're at a bar and this is there and it's under $15 a shot, as long as the shot is I don't two think ounces. It's going to be, yeah, for two ounces, you're not going to get it under 15 bucks. But if you could, do it because it's it. really good. I would or buy one. I would just go ahead and buy it. You're not going to be disappointed. I paid 17, 18 bucks. I don't think there's anything about this that would be off-putting to someone. No. If you like bourbon, you like If this. you like bourbon, you'll like this. We're not yeah. going to even put water in it. No! Hell no! No. Well, normally our rule is 100 proof and over, we'll drop some water in it and see what it does. Yours, I'm no, I'm not going to. Because <laughs> I love it just as it is. It is kind of buttery, you know? This is... It is buttery. It's very silky on your tongue. Buttery, buttery. popcorn-y bourbon. It's like... Corn on the cob with some butter, and then make it into bourbon. And age it 10 years. Mm, it's really comforting. And then take a single barrel. Oh my gosh, yeah. And then have this might be my comfort bourbon. And here it is. You know? If you have a comfort food. Okay, whatever you say. I'm not gonna drink anymore, Brad. <laughs> I would give you mine. All right, that's enough for today. Okay. <laughs> so, yes, this gets a big recommendation. Thumbs up. Worth the money, especially sure. at retail. Mm -hmm. Secondary, I don't know what it's going for. I don't know what it's for. going for. If you got the money, I guess. If you don't, buy a lot of other, you know, like several other lower priced bourbons and be happy. That's what I say. Yeah. <laughs> but this... Well, just deal with it. Yeah. It's worth it if you get the chance. Woo! Good. Yum. Okay. All right. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. You're welcome. And until next time, drink more bourbon.